Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today my topic is plug or coil embolization devices and how to use it properly. My name is Ho Jun Jang from Sejong General Hospital. Embolization is, by definition, the passage and lodging of an embolus within the bloodstream, and it can be either pathological or therapeutic. Specifically, vascular embolization refers to therapeutic introduction of various substances into the circulation to occlude blood vessels. For this purpose, synthetic materials are placed through a catheter into the specific site to block blood flow and subsequently induce thrombosis. And the most popular materials are coils and plugs. Nowadays, embolization is widely used in the clinical fields. Common medical conditions include active bleeding, AV malformation, and aneurysm related. Vascular coils produce permanent vessel occlusion, which is similar to surgical ligation. They are generally made of stainless steel or platinum and featured by fiber coating made of polyester, nylon, or silk, which enhances thrombogenicity. According to the delivery system, coils are classified as pushable or detachable. Pushable coils are loaded and delivered by a coil pusher wire. They are easily and quick, easy and quick to perform and not expensive, but retrieval is not available. On the other hand, detachable coils have controlled release mechanisms, therefore recapture and reposition is available. Of course, the procedural time is longer and the cost is higher. Vascular coils are suitable for small to medium-sized vessel embolization. Various size and shape according to the purpose is available in the vascular coil profile. They are used for framing, filling, or packing of the target vessel segment. We have coils shaped like helix, figure eight, voltex, multi-loop, short straight, or vortex diamond. Another vascular coils manufactured by other company. You can see the multiple long fiber coating, as I mentioned before. Again, vascular coils can be used for framing, packing, and filling. Most vascular coils are known to have MRI safety up to three Tesla. This is the virtual demonstration of pushable coil deploy. Vascular coil is loaded, delivered, and nested to the desired site. And it can be repeated. <coughs> Detachable coil have various release mechanisms, such as mechanical, electrolytic, or hydrostatic. Recapture and reposition is available till satisfied. Let's move to the vascular plug. The most widely used vascular plug is m vascular plug, AVP. They are made of self-expanding retinal wire mesh, have microscrew release mechanism, guarantee visibility. Vascular plugs are suitable for medium to large sized vessel embolization. The first model, AVP1, have one lobe. It needs short landing zone is very simple to perform, but not very thrombogenic. This is the virtual demonstration of Amplastia Vascular Plug 1. It is one lobe the retinal mesh at free expansion. As you can see. and it can be recaptured. And it conforms to the vessel morphology.
AV, AVP2 has three lobes, which guarantees faster occlusion and minimal mi migration. It needs longer landing zone than AVP1. AVP2 is most commonly used vascular plugs nowadays. Besides, AVP3 is used exclusively for the paravalvular leak treatment. For small and tortuous vessel occlusion, AVP4 is suitable, which can be delivered by even diagnostic catheter. These vascular embolization devices can be applied to nearly all vessels. Now we see some cases. For the treatment of thoracic aortic aneurysm located near aortic arch, left subclavian artery must be obliterated to prevent type 2 endoleak. Zone 1 TVAR is planned and debranching and bypass of left common carotid artery is done. Now we need to occlude left subclavian artery. The diameter is about 6 to 8 millimeter and landing zone is sufficient. We choose the plug size 30 to 50 percent bigger than the target vessel. This is the final angiogram. AVP2 is positioned and deployed well. Thrombosis is generally made in 10 to 15 minutes after deploy. This case is somewhat complicated. Left, ventricle, left vertebral artery osteum is very low and we have very short landing zone. Vessel size is 10 millimeter or more at left subclavian artery os and the landing zone is very short. So we decided to deploy AVP1. You can see the butterfly-like plug at the left subclavian artery ostium. Next, this is a petty atri case. Now what can you see? Right atrium and ventricle is enhanced during aortography. This is a case of coronary artery to cameral fistula. This is a high flow situation, meaning that the risk of device mi migration is high. The narrowest portion is outlet and diameter is about 8 millimeter. We deploy AVP2, two lobes inside and one lobe outside. And this is the final angiogram. Mm, another pediatric case is uh, rather difficult. Hypoplastic left heart syndrome, left ventricle is functionally absent. Serial operation should be performed. Final operation is fountain operation. Systemic hypoxemia is persistent and collateral artery formation is very frequent. Of course, it causes bleeding sometimes. You can see diffuse multiple collateral from aorta to pulmonary artery. Right internal thoracic artery is an important feeder vessel in this case. The diameter of the rima is 2.5 millimeter. For this small vessel less than 6 millimeter, AVP4 is available. So you can see the AVP4 plug deployed in the right internal thoracic artery, like this. You can see both 
common iliac artery aneurysm and internal iliac artery aneurysm. We need to occlude both inlet and outlet of the internal iliac artery aneurysm. For the outlet, detachable coil interlock is used. And for the inlet, AVP2 plug is successfully deployed. And now you can see the embolization is successful. This is the last case, anterior STEMI. Proximal LAD was corporate. Two stents were successfully deployed and TMI3 was recovered. Suddenly patient's blood pressure dropped. Diagonal branch perforation was highly suspected. This was an emergency situation. So detachable coil interlock was deployed to the diagonal branch. And this is the final angiogram. After this procedure, the patient's hemodynamic parameters were finally stabilized. Okay, take home messages, ladies and gentlemen. Cores and plugs are the most popular materials now used for vascular embolization. Cores are used for the embolization of small to medium vessels. Plugs are used for the embolization of medium to large vessels. Selecting the correct shape and size is most critical for the successful occlusion. And the proper use of vascular plug minimizes the procedure time and the number of devices needed. Thank you for your attention.